Hi guys! So in this video I will show you how to set up and upload a new firmware version into your TiVo Black Widow 3D printer. So the first thing you have to do is to download the Arduino software. This will allow you to open the firmware file, change it and upload it to the board. Google for Arduino download Enter the official Arduino website and download the latest version. You can choose between the zipped version or the installer. Either one will work. Then go to the official TiVo Black Widow forum on Facebook and download the Community Guide PDF. In the Community Guide PDF, you can find the latest firmware version for the Black Widow. If you don't have access to Facebook, check the video description for the link. Download it and open it. Once you have Arduino and the firmware unzipped and ready, open the Arduino software and load the firmware file named Marlin INO. Once loaded, you must see all these tabs on top. In the first tab, you can read the instructions for the basic setup. Pack or wrap did an amazing job with this version by simplifying the process required to change the most usual settings. But let's go through them. Now select the configuration.h tab and here are the most important settings. In the first group of settings you will find the bed leveling type which can be manual leveling, BL touch or proximity leveling. If you want to change the leveling type to match your printer, just uncomment the option you need and comment the ones you don't want. Next is the driver setting. You have the stock option with the DRV8825 drivers or many TMC2100 driver options. You need to choose one of them according to which axis you have installed. Again, select the option that matches your machine, uncomment that line and comment the ones you don't want. The steps per millimeter are automatically set by the option you selected, so you don't need to worry about that. Regarding the extra steps, you can edit them here or later in the display. Don't forget to do an EEPROM reset after you flash the firmware. The instructions on how to do that are written here. And that's it! That's all you need to do to configure the new firmware to match your Black Widow setup. If you want to know more or make additional changes, here's what you can also do. If you scroll down, you will see that the message that will appear on the display will indicate the setup you have. This is also done automatically thanks to Packer Wrap. But if you want to modify the message, you can do it here. If you continue to scroll down, you will find the settings for max feed rate, max acceleration and jerk. You don't need to modify these, they will work just fine. And for the acceleration and jerk, you can also modify them later on the display. The most important setting that I recommend you to check are the travel limits. This is how far your printer will allow the axis to move. This way, your machine will never go over these limits and will never hit the mechanical limit, as long as the home sequence is done first. For the X and Y axis, you enter the value where you read X and Y bed size. For the Z, you modify where it reads Z max position. One last setting you can edit is here almost at the end. It's the LCD language. Here you can define what language you want to have in the display menus. You have plenty of options. In my case, if I want to select Portuguese, I go here to the list and I see that for Portuguese I must use the PT option instead of the EN for English. So I just replace the EN with PT. 
Now it's time to configure Arduino so that we can proceed with the upload of the firmware. At the top, go to Tools, Board and select Arduino Mega 2560. And the same for the processor. Also confirm that the AVR ISP MK2 programmer is selected. Next is the port. For this, you must connect to the printer. Use your uh, USB cable and with the printer turned off, connect the printer to the PC. The display should turn on right now. Your operating system will start to detect new hardware and will try to install the drivers. You will need the FTDI drivers for this. You can find them in the Arduino folder. When prompt, just point to that folder so that Windows can install them. Go to Device Manager and locate the new devices. You should see two of them. In my Windows 10 PC, the USB serial converter device was installed with the Arduino drivers and the USB serial port was installed automatically by Windows itself. If with this you still are unable to configure the new devices, enter the FTDI website, download the drivers from there and install them. Don't close the device manager just yet. Go to the COM port and check which is the port number that has been given to the printer. Go back to Arduino and in Tools, Port, select the same port number. And you're almost there! Just one more thing you need to do before flashing the firmware. Go to Sketch, Include Library and look for the U8G library. Most probably it will not be included. So go up to Manage, Libraries and at the top Type in the name of the library you are looking for, which is U8Glib. Search for the library and select Install. When finished, confirm that the library is now included in the list. And we are now ready to flash the firmware. At the left icon, click on Verify. Arduino will now verify if the firmware is OK and can be compiled correctly. This might take a while, so don't worry. When done, you can see the results at the bottom. No red words, so we are good to go. Click on Upload and wait. At this time, don't disconnect the cable, don't turn off the PC or anything else. Let it flash the firmware before doing something else. This process will also take a few minutes. Once the flashing process is complete, the controller will reboot itself. You can now remove the USB cable from the PC and from the controller and turn on the printer. Don't forget to do an EEPROM reset after you flash the firmware. Confirm the changes and that's it! Thanks for watching guys, any questions let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!